In this video, let's talk about polymorphic lookup. Now, as you all know, in Dynamics 365 and Power Platform, once we use a Dataverse table, within a table, we can create a column and a column can be of various data type. So one of the data types is a lookup column. So we can look up the data from one table to another table. Now, there might arise a situation whereby we may need to look up to multiple tables. Now, a lookup field basically allows a user to select a record from more than one table. Now, we can establish one is to many relationship between different lookup tables using the lookup data type. There is an out of the box available type called as customer, but this does something different. Now, if you select customer as a data type, then it will allow you to look up either into the contacts table or into the accounts table. Now, we cannot create a polymorphic lookup through the UI or user interface. The only thing we can be create uh, the polymorphic lookup is through code. There is an another tool called as XRM toolbox, which allow us to create polymorphic lookup creator. So if you want to create polymorphic lookup creator uh, very quickly, then XRM toolbox tool will help you do that. Polymorphic lookup doesn't show complete referencing details in the makeup portal. So take for example, if you want to see how does the customer data type looks like, then if you go into the makeup portal, it will not show you the complete information. So I'm going to show that in the demo. Uh, so uh, just hold on for a while. Polymorphic lookup cannot use self-referencing. So we cannot use that same data type pointer to the same table itself. So you cannot use self-referencing concept within if we are using a polymorphic lookup. Iterating through the lookup using API or Power Automate would need manual type checking. So what happens is like if you use a polymorphic lookup, then if you use that, uh, uh, if you use Power Automate to automate your processes, then you may need to check during the runtime what kind of data that column is referring to. And on basis of the selection, you can proceed further with a set of instructions. So that's one of the check which you need to uh, uh, perform. Referencing table with no content won't be listed in the drop down menu. So, take for example, if you are uh, doing a lookup and if you are using a polymorphic lookup and if you are referring to say maybe five tables. Now, when you just press enter on the lookup control, it won't show you five records. If the five table does not have any records in it. So, I'm going to show you that also. What do you mean by that? Polymorphic lookup can be done using uh, a .NET code or web-based API. So I provided you the link over here. I'm going through, I'll go through the uh, website as well uh, in a short while. So there is a uh, action called as create polymorphic lookup attribute action, which you can use to create a polymorphic lookup. Now, as you see over here on the left-hand side, we have this by default uh, column data type called as lookup. So we can use lookup to point to one of the table. We can use customer to point to two table, but then the two tables are hard coded, which is a contact and an account. And in the back end, if you view, if you select a customer table, customer uh, data type, then it will point to a related table called as account and contact, and it will establish a relationship. As you see over here, it has this display name and it has this internal or relationship name right and it has a relationship of many to one so if you closely watch this uh, uh, internal name it has the internal name uh, account internal name contact and the display name is same appointment record now there is one record called as appointment table uh, in dynamic crm or you can use appointment in sales or any other a first party application as well. So here uh, there is one field called as required. And if you click on it here, you will see that it is pointing to six different types of records and the six different types of record. If you click on advanced lookup, then you will see that uh, the appointment required field points to accounts, contacts, entitlements, facilities or equipment, knowledge articles, queues, users. So it, it points to so many items. Now, as you see over here, there is a six type of record. And on the left hand side here, you will see seven records. 
Now, why there is a discrepancy? Because it will not show you results from all record type unless the table is filled with records. So quite possible in this scenario, there might be one table which does not have a record in it. Okay, so if it does not have a record, then it will show you six type of record. So, uh, so take for example, if there is a pointing, if the polymorphic lookup is pointing to say seven tables, and if the seven table does not even have a record, then it won't show you anything in this first screen. Then, if you want to see the more detailed view, you need to go into the advanced lookup. Not complete referencing. Why I say not complete referencing? Because if you uh, see. Uh, that the customer customer lookup table so if if we point to a customer uh, lookup table uh, then what happens is like uh, we can see accounts and contacts being linked to that specific column okay now in this example as you see over here it's poly one now the poly one uh, is pointing to four different types of records right now four different types of record it is being pointed but in the back end it will show you that it is only pointing to say related table is account okay so because there is no other way to show in the makeup portal but this is not correct it is partially correct but i would say this is pointing to account it is pointing to contact it is pointing to the companies it is pointing to some other table as well so there should be four records over here as you see from this particular screen right so let's jump into the demo so this is a simple model driven app which i've created called as olympic app now if i go to this olympic app i've demonstrated this using a cust column so this is a cust column over here and if i click on it as i press enter i can see that the result is coming from accounts and result is coming from contacts so if i click on accounts i will be only be seeing only the contacts record over here accounts record over here if i click on contacts over here then i should be able to see only the contacts record as i do not have i just have one contact record it is showing me one so if i go back i can select either from accounts or i can select from contact now this is a by default data type which is available called as customer now if you want to see more information i'll go into the advanced lookup and i'll see on the left hand side it is i, I can either select accounts or i can either select contacts so i'll just cancel this off now, if I use uh, a polymorphic lookup, then things change. So if I click on this look for record and if I just press enter, then I can see that it, the result is coming from four different types of record. If I click on four different types of record, then it will show me accounts, contacts, minerals and shops. Okay. Now, as you see in the screen, it says four types of record. And if I click on it, it will show me accounts, contacts, minerals, shops. Okay, so these are four different tables. If I go into account, I can select account. If I go to uh, contacts, I can select contacts. If I go to uh, minerals, I can select minerals. Now, it is showing me four types of record. But if I click on advanced lookup, I can see that there are five different types of record. Now, why five different types of record and it was showing four? Because maybe in one of the table, that might be no record. So let's see, account has a records in it. Contact has at least one record. Knowledge articles does not have a record. Minerals have a record. Shops have a record. So that means knowledge article, if we would have added a knowledge article record, then it would have shown five records. So that's the behavior, okay? So you need to be a bit careful about it. So just don't go by this number over here because that might sometime may not be correct this is a dynamics 365 customer service hub application now in dynamics 365 customer service hub application there is a column called as customer now again this is of the similar type if i click on customer i should be able to select from accounts or if i select contacts i should be able to select a contact so customer can be either an account or a contact Similarly, for just one is to one lookup, if I click on product, now if I click on product, I can only select from product. If I go into advanced lookup, I have no left menu over here. I have to select anything from the product, okay? So I can't select anything from any other table. So this is like just a lookup. So product is just a lookup column pointing to a product table. Customer is a lookup, which is pointing to an account or a contact table, right? 
So that's a that's exhibiting a polymorphic behavior. Now, how does this two come? Like it's a very simple thing. Like if we go to make dot power apps and if you navigate to say any table. So if I go to say Commonwealth Nations table, if I go to columns, I can create a new column, right? Now, how do we create a customer column? So I'll just type in C001. Let's assume this is the name of the column. I can select the data type. I can select lookup and select customer. And I will save this record. So C001 is of type customer. So that means C001 points to either customer, uh, the contacts or an account table, right? Now, this is what we are exhibiting over here from a customer perspective. But if you want to do just one lookup, then I will click on the lookup data type, right? So once this is provision, what I'm going to do, I'll create another column that will point to a lookup. Lookup will point to one table max, okay? Now, in Dynamics 365, there is an another uh, table called as appointment, okay? So let me show you where. On the left-hand side, if I click on activities, if I go to appointment, then I see an appointment form. Now, in the appointment form, there is a column called as required and optional. Now, if I click on required, it says look for record. And if I just type in, it says all records, okay? Now, if I just press enter, and then it will show me there are six types of record which are associated with the required uh, required column. Now, if I click on six type of record, it will show me accounts, contacts, entitlements, knowledge article, queues, okay, and users. So there are six record which is pointing to the appointment required column. So I can either select account, contacts, entitlements, knowledge article, queues, and user. But again, I'll tell you, this is not only six type of record, there is one more. If I click on advanced lookup, as you see over here, there is account, contacts, entitlement, knowledge article, queues, user, but there is facilities and equipments. Now, facilities and equipment was not showing as a counted record because it didn't have any record in it. Knowledge article had a couple of records, queues had records, users had records. So again, don't go by that number because in polymorphic lookup, if the table does not have a record, it will not show you in the front view. Now, as this column is created as, uh, over here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the columns again. I'll click on new column and then I'll call it the first lookup. Now, this lookup is just one lookup. It is just pointing to one table. So go to data type, lookup, lookup, and then related table. I can point to any table of my choice. So if I want to point to, say, AI builder table, AI builder file, I'll just click on save. Okay. So what I've done, I've created two columns. One is of type customer lookup and one is of um, just a uh, simple lookup. So if I go to C001, the column uh, which I have created of data type customer, in this advanced option, it will show you that this is pointing to schema name C001, logical name C001, and the relationship is this one, okay? And the uh, account relationship and the contact relationship. So now here in this new UI, it is showing me both the relationship what it exhibits. Now, what, what happens in the back end is now, as this is pointing to a data type of customer, if I go inside this record, okay, uh, let me click on, let me click on edit. And if I go to advanced option, I can see that there is an account relationship and there is a contact relationship. Now, if I go back and if I go into the relationship, and if I say, uh, I just want to see C001. So I'll just type C001. Now here, there are two records which gets created as a part of relationship. And it is one is pointing to account, one is pointing to contact. Now, if we create a polymorphic lookup and if it is pointing to five different tables, then you will have five different relationships. And it is, as it is coming from this table, then it will have exhibiting many each to one relationship. But if you use an account, if you see the same record in the account table, let's see the same record in account table, it will have one is to many relationship. So let's go into the account table. So it will have a relationship kept on a bi-directional way. So as you see over here, C001. So let me go to C001 and it says it is a one to many relationship and it is the pointing table is the related table is Commonwealth Nation. So this is how you basically have that relationship built up. Now, what if we want to create a polymorphic lookup? Okay. Now, the only option within the UI is either we can create just a lookup or 
we can create a lookup of customer type but there is no way to create a polymorphic lookup through the ui so for that what we will do in the next video i'm going to show you a xrm toolbox tool to create the polymorphic lookup now there is an alternative way through which you can create polymorphic lookup using code so this is a web api reference this is one of the action it creates polymorphic lookup attribute action so you can create a polymorphic lookup you can uh, update the polymorphic lookup by removing the relationship so if you uh, create a polymorphic lookup pointing to five tables and tomorrow if you decide i just want four tables you can edit that and at the same time you can also delete the polymorphic lookup attribute now there are parameters one is lookup where exactly do you want to uh, point that lookup to so it says the metadata for the lookup field used to store the id of the related row one to many relationship the metadata array for one to many relationship to the entity so this is basically a collection so it will have that multiple table uh, pointers and you need to specify the unique name of the solution so basically uh, it's an unmanaged solution to which you want to add the uh, lookup attribute to uh, and what it returns it returns a create polymorphic lookup attribute response it contains basically the response of the create polymorphic lookup attribute action so this is how you basically use uh, the code to create a polymorphic lookup so that's it folks this is all about polymorphic lookup what i'm going to do i will be coming up with the next video which will show you how to create a polymorphic lookup pointing to a multiple tables or more than two tables uh, and it will uh, use xrm toolbox to perform that action thanks for watching